tree. This is an eastern hemlock. This tree's probably uh, been growing increments in this location for probably 400 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Looks like it's a nice home for some small wildlife. Mm-hmm. It's a nice home in there. Well, you see, the mulch is not piled up on the trunks of this tree. Or is it piled up on the trunks of any of these other trees? Some of them it is, a little bit. It's collected some stuff. But in the most part, you don't see the trees growing on these mounds. And the uh, thing is, This is what things look like when they go right. This is an area with a moderate amount of downed wood, um, some plastless wood. Uh, some areas have quite a bit more substantially from time to time. Uh, for example, there's the uh, Tyanestic Scenic area. Look at that beautiful root wad. It's called a root wad and when those trees fall that helps churn the soil. Uh, Tyanestic Scenic area where a tornado went through and nothing was removed because the area is protected from such devastation. And it's beautiful. It's the, you have 400 increment old trees upon tree upon tree. And it's just one huge sock of carbon. People say, oh, we have a lot of, we have a lot of wood in our woods. Um, but some of these people do not understand in reality uh, what these trees once had and, and how they survived and how they can survive to live so long uh, with the uh, addition of these different gradations of mulch. Tomorrow we'll do a little clip on digging mycorrhizae from in and near nurse logs, which is a bioindicator. Scared. Went back to the car. There's some nice fungi on these logs. And, and these fungi are part of what makes up this forest. This forest is made up of different trees, different funguses, different insects, different soil microorganisms, uh, on and on and on. but most is connected to trees in some way or another. So this fungus, how about fungus diversity? That would be important to look at to determine whether a treatment of cutting the wood out is going to increase or decrease forest health. Because if it hurts the fungus, then it hurts part of the forest. A little mini ecosystem of its own, huh? Beautiful. Wood can be so beautiful and yet we call it dead. And look how living it is. My gosh. And the benefits to the living trees. <laughs> wow, you talk about functionality. No waste.